Welcome back to another episode of Sip the Tally Films Presents 2020 Draft Prospects. And today we're talking about my boy, Lord Cushenberry. The the guy that I think is probably the best interior lineman in the draft. Some don't. Some think it's another guy. I think his versatility puts him up there. I think he can play center and guard for um, any team he picks, any team that picks him up. And I got a, a lot of proof to kind of bag up why I'm so high on Cushionberry. But before we get into it, let's do this. So, if you've been following me and the channel and my conversation with people back and forth on Twitter and on YouTube, you know there's like like a competition between Cushionberry and Ruiz from Michigan. I don't think it's close personally, but some people tend to think it's close. And I'm going to give you a list of guys that Cushionberry went against, whether it be in the season or in the senior bowl. And you tell me if Ruiz has a lineup like this. So what I did was I searched the top defensive tackles on, on Google. And it took me to Walter Something's page. And he listed 25 of the top um, defensive tackles out there. So, I went and found if I had tape uh, against Cushion Bear versus these guys. I did uh, have a lot of tape. And um, these are the guys he went against, whether it be in the season or in the senior bowl. He went against Derek Brown, who was ranked number one on that list. Justin Matabuke, who was ranked number three on that list. Marlon Davidson, who was ranked number five on that list. Raekwon Davis, ranked number six on that list. Neville Galmore, number seven. Benito Jones, number 12. Josiah Courtney, Courtney, 16. And Tyler Clark, number 24. So out of the top 24 defensive tackles in the nation, Cushion Bear went against one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight of them went against one, two, three, four, five. Five of the top ten. And you telling me... Um, Ruiz went against that type of competition. Man, bump that. Let's start off with the senior bowl film, man. Let's get right into this. This this might be a minute. This might be a minute. If you're first time here, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Y'all know the drill. Let's get into it. All right, we're going to run through some of these because I got a ton of clips. So I don't want to be here an hour or so. But let, let's get into it. This is Cushion Bear right here at center versus, uh, I don't know who this is right here. This is at the senior bowl. This is Colt Courtney, Josiah Courtney. Number 16 on that list I told you about. Colton trying to bull rush him. He's gonna drop his butt. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. You lose that rep, Courtney. Let's go to the next rep. This is same guy. Different different angle. Same guy, different angle. Now, what I do like is he got his hand slapped off right there. Fit and replace. Fit and replace and don't lose. Fit and replace and drop your butt. Lost again. Slap that hand off. Bam. That, that's his hand being slapped off. Put it right back and fit. Right back and fit. Now, drop your butt. Don't let the bull rush go. Drop your butt and move your feet. Name of the game. Dropping your butt, moving your feet. Which is pole one in the web. I think it's cold in there again. It is. Right, this is Benito. So Colton it was 16. Benito is 12. Look at that. Where you going? Oh, that's Colton again, just a, diff just a different angle. That's Josiah Colton again, just a different angle. He'll drop his butt. The bull rush ain't working. That's Benito. That's Benito Jones. The bull rush not going to work. No hand fighting, so that's easy. Sink your hips, move your feet. Sink your hips, move your feet. Good. 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 This is Davidson from, from Auburn. This is Davidson from Auburn. And keep in mind, Auburn had two of the top five guys on the same team. Derek Brown and Marlon Davidson. Okay, he lost that rep. 
So it ain't all good. Oh, you don't think I'm just being Homer here? He lost this rep. Got swam over. Then got out leveraged. Got by. This is um the kid from South Carolina, uh Kenlaw. This versus Kenlaw. Where you going? Sit down. That simple. He lost a hand fight. Sit down. Tried to swim, didn't work. Still in place. Sit, just sit on down. All right, that might be the rip that Kenlaw got hurt too. So I don't put a whole lot of stock in that. That might be the rip Kenlaw got hurt. Because I think after day one or maybe two, Kenlaw was done at the senior bowl. Courtney again. Just riding Courtney. Courtney. Giving him nothing. Got his hand. What, his initial hand is outside. This is his hand right here that's outside. And he's going to fit and replace it. Look at He's trying to slide it back to the middle. Trying to slide it back. Still working it. Now he got it back in the middle. Finally. After working it three or four different positions. Got it back in the middle. Got slapped at the end. By now, shit, the ball gone. Now they got him at guard. Told you he was versatile. He's not just a center. Now they got him at guard. Where you going? What you, what you doing? Where you going? Move A didn't work. Move B didn't work. All right, that ain't working. Let me go outside. Nope, that ain't working. Let me try something with my hands. Nope, that ain't working. Stay your butt right here. Same rep, different different angle. But not the same dude. My bad, same dude. All right, now, that's all you senior bowl film. That was against, you had Ken Law in there. You had um, Marlon Davidson in there. Um, Gallimore was in there, but I didn't get a rep with, I didn't see a rep versus Cushenberry and Gallimore. So on film, right now we got either number five is Brown, number three is Davidson. So this is versus Auburn. Just run him on by. He slanted right to him. That's number five. So that's that's Brown. Come right to him. He got still got that hand outside. Needs to be inside. Now using this leverage to run him on by. Use his leverage to ride him on by. Look at that low man. Got popped up a little bit initially. Popped up a little bit too high. Replace that hand. Drop your butt. Now that's some good technique right there. The leg is a little bit too far back, but he got he got he got a flat back. And he's gonna drive him out the way. Boom. Out the way. Out the way. That's your that's your number one D tackle in the nation right there. Number one D tackle in the nation. Allowing Joe to get up the field for a first down. Alright, this is Galmore from Oklahoma. So yeah, I made a I, I did make a point to go find the top D tackles and so I can shut some of you guys up. One on one. Swipe hand swipe didn't work. Back across the face didn't work. Throw your body. Now you get a little help with double team, but not much. Not much. What are you doing? None of that job work. None. But Ruiz better than him. Ruiz ain't see this type of heat on a game-to-game -game basis. Now, did he win every rip? No. So don't, don't make, I ain't trying to say he won every rip. But you, you get where I'm going with this. You get where I'm going with this. Which allowed Joe to get the pocket again. And that ended up being another first down. Got more again. This is them right here. Got more and, and Cushenberry. Now he pop he popped Cush on that one now. Watch Cush's head pop up. Watch his head pop up. Pow. Now what both look who we finna get back in the fight though. Cush back in the fight. Look who ends up winning the fight. And nuts on his back. What are you doing? Get up, Gamor. Nope. Let's sit there with some nuts on his back. All right, this is number five again. So this is this is Brown. One on one, one on one. Wait, what? What? You see, you telling me Cesar Ruiz can do this to Brown? I very highly doubt it. One on one block, no help nowhere, no help anyway. He dropped that butt. 
drop that anchor, so to speak, and it is a wrap. And the thing is, his arm's so long that the DB, the, I'm sorry, defense alignment can't can't shuck him and then find the ball because his arm's just as long as theirs, just as long as theirs, just as long as theirs. So you're telling me Caesar Ruiz can do that again on Brown? That ain't much, right? They had a little help on that one. But still, I ain't changed the, the, the little cheat sheet doing work because that's what he's doing all game. This is versus Alabama. Look at the athleticism. Athleticism. Cut right behind him. Cut right behind him. Got out there. And he got he got sideline to sideline just as fast as this. I want to say it's a linebacker that, that he ends up blocking. It's a linebacker. All right, so 36 and Cushenberry side by side now. Wasn't much separation on that. Wasn't much separation on that. The yeah, athlete too. So we got Gamble again. This is Cushion Bear, so this is Gamble, so I'm assuming Gamble is going to slant on this one. Up, oh, jumped into a one. Right where you want it. Look at that. Go to work, Cush. You got a little help. But initially, the initial move didn't help. Wasn't no help initially. I don't want to hear anybody say he got triple team on. Nah. The initial move is one-on-one -on -one right there. Where he going? Nowhere. Low man winning. He just head popped up. Cushenberry got him standing straight up. And this is your number seven defense tackle. Seven, number seven rated. This is against, now this is against um, Matabuki. He's the number three defense tackle. Matt Booker, do you want Blackburn, Angel Mama, or Mrs. Butterworth? What kind of syrup you want with this? All right, just just let let me know. We'll put a package in the mail, send to College Station. I prefer Blackburn because it's from the South. But don't go nowhere. We got some more stuff for you, Matt Booker. What? What? None of your moves are working. You got neutralized. Back to Marlon Davidson. I guess we had enough of Matt Bouquet. He wasn't enough to keep talking about. He got overpowered a little bit, but look at the recovery. Look at the recovery. Trying to one-hand do it because he's working double team. And, and and Brown got a good good arm slap. Brown won this chicken, this uh, arm fight initially. His hand fight initially. He going to slap him over. Now you got he, Brown just need to dip that shoulder. He don't. He leave that shoulder square. Because you better put that hand in the middle. And then he left with that second hand on him. Now he's right back where he need to be. Hold on, one frame too far. Let me go back just a little bit further. Right there, that's perfect. Both hands inside, face to face. No, no distance between you and the defense alignment. You can't get no better than that. But Caesar Ruiz better. Man, get out of here. I lose y'all mind. This is the last clip right here. Kids Matter Bouquet, we're gonna end it on Mr. Pancake. Mm. Blackburn, Buttersworth. What, what kind of syrup do you like? Sugar free. What's that? What, what kind of what is that? This is it right here. As Vodge say, finish your food. Fin food got finished right there. So there's nothing you can tell me. That let that says Caesar Ruiz is a better center slash guard than Lord Cushenberry. It's, the proof is in the pudding right here. The proof is in the pudding right here. There's nothing you can tell me that just after watching this film that says Caesar Ruiz is better than Lord Cushenberry. It's, 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 you can't. You can't tell me that. It's, there's nothing you can tell me. Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. It's just crazy that, that people even think that. And I see my, my watch comes off a little bit, so let me put it in there and go and finish this up. I don't even know how to move it over. Forget it. Y'all know Lord Cushenberry, the things is doing work. SA doing work the whole time. It's a little off, but y'all got the film. You know what it is. So forget the, the name. You know who it is, Cushenberry. My Twitter handle is Coach Evans9. You know what that is. And it said doing work the whole time because that's what he did. He did work. This is Coach Evans. See you when I see you. No need to keep talking. Peace. I've been asked.
How can people support my channel and help it grow? And after talking to other YouTubers, Patreon.com is the answer. Any amount donated will help build the channel. My goal is to get a telestrator and help explain the ins and outs of the game even more. So go on over to Patreon.com backslash Zip the Tally to support the channel. And there will also be videos for subscribers only in the future. This is Coach Evans, and again, thanks everyone for the support. And head on over to Patreon.com backslash Zip to Tally. With the, with the, with the, with the, with the,